All right, so I asked one of my video coordinators if I should do a video on either Oregon or Logan Paul. And her response was, who is Logan Paul? So I'm going to be doing 30 things about Oregon. And I pulled up this website and I'll have a link if you guys want to read it in the, uh, in the description if you guys want to check it out. Number one uh, fact is... Weird is a compliment, especially in Portland. Interesting. Seriously, Oregonians and especially Portlanders don't mean anything negative when they call you weird. Hmm, interesting. Not every Oregonian is a hipster. Okay. Sure, a lot of Oregonians like vintage clothing, music from thriving local scene, da da da. Uh, not everyone is rocking a mustache. Okay. Plenty of Oregonians are totally hippies. Interesting. If by hippies you mean environmentally conscious and socially progressive, then it's a label a whole lot of Oregonians will wear with pride. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, you won't find too many hippies in Eastern Oregon. Oregonians come in many different forms, and there's definitely a live and let live, oh, a live and let live mentality here. Some are hippies, some are conservative, and some are straight up survivalist. Okay. Uh, they're called filberts because reasons. Okay, so everyone else calls them hazelnuts, but filberts just sound so much cuter. Interesting. So, Nutella would be... Oh, it would still be Nutella, but it'd be filberts bread? Interesting. Alright. Oregon have many breweries. 170 brewing companies in the state, but it's totally not excessive considering the demand. Interesting. It's not always rainy. Certain parts of Oregon, like the coast and Cascade region, can be quite drizzly, but central and eastern Oregon get away more sunny days every year. A speed limit is called a the limit for a reason. Oregonians like to take things a little slower. Calm down. 10 to 15 under is totally normal. Okay, I can I can get on board with that. I, you know, I like just cruising, driving around. Yes, Oregonians are obsessed with salmon. If you had access to fresh caught delicious salmon all the time, you would be too. Okay. Life in Oregon isn't just like Portlandia. What the heck is Portlandia? If you're looking for a 25-hour work week at a coffee shop that you can pay your rent with, sorry, it's not like that in any part of Oregon. You will, however, find lots of weird milk drinks at New Seasons and birds on everything. Okay. Speaking of which, there's so much more to Oregon than Portland. And that's the truth. I mean, a lot of people, like, they limit a state to just one part, like, Louise, I'm from Louisiana, and people's all like, New Orleans, New Orleans, New Orleans, and there's so much more to it than just that. Let's see here. Sales tax doesn't exist here. You're welcome. Alright, yeah, you can stop checking your receipt. You paid exactly what was on the price tag, and that's correct. So $10 and ten is $10, a dollar is a dollar. So you go to Dollar Tree and you just, you spend just a dollar. Yes, bikes do totally rule the roads. From Portland to Eugene, cyclists are taking over the street. Don't honk in your SUV at them unless you want to be an Oregon outcast for life. Now, why would you honk at a cyclist? That's like, that's like so weird. Because, I mean, they have as every right to be on the road as you do. <clears throat> nope, Oregonians really can't pump their own gas. Now, this has changed, and this is what kind of like spurred on that video is that uh, in recent uh, months, uh, laws have passed that allow Oregon's to start pumping their own gas. And so that was kind of like a big thing on uh, Facebook and all those kind of places. 
in social media where people were kind of like make poking fun at Oregon uh, people for not pumping their own gas. So that's actually so you actually have attendants that will come and pump their gas for them. See, according to this, there's a grudge against California. If you come to Oregon from California, be prepared for dozens of comments about how you're ruining real estate prices or just don't tell anyone you're from California ever. Okay. Honestly, that kind of applies to all transplants. Oregon Oregonians don't blame them for liking it there, but it'd be even better if they enjoyed their visit and left. <laughs> I'm sure not all Oregon people feel this way, but it's for, they have a gift of like in sync. Bye bye bye. Uh, I'm I'm kind of like a I'm in the process of becoming a, a transplant myself, so I kind of find it funny because I'm a Louisiana to a, a Tennessee transplant in the process of. Let's see, voodoo isn't just a religion; it's a religiously visited donut shop. With Oregon locations in Portland and Eugene, Voodoo Donuts is one of the most frequently visited donut shops by visitor, visitors and residents alike. Just be prepared to wait in line. And I just noticed there's a donut shop about 10 minutes, 5 minutes from here. So that'll probably be visited soon. No one knows how to merge. Listen, if you, if you came to Oregon to make fun of Oregonian driving, that's just, well, it's e an easy, cheap shot, really. But have you seen the cyclists? They're great. <laughs> like, I don't understand that. Before, they previously mentioned that the speed limits are, like, slow. So why would merging be such a big deal if people are, like, going, like, it should be easier. I mean, I don't understand that. All right, number 19. Yes, weed is legal. Marijuana. The medical kind, but don't go looking for recreational re marijuana before July 1st, 2015. So this is an old artic article, so that's probably changed since then. See, Blazers have nothing to do. Uh, they're just totally awesome Portland basketball team. The Portland Trail Blazers. Okay. Uh, boring isn't something that puts you to sleep. Boring Oregon City. It's an Oregon town with the ironic slogan, an exciting place to live and work. <laughs> I see. Um, Aloha isn't just a greeting. It's another town in Oregon near the city of Portland. But one of the Facebook commenters, because I was like researching this, they mentioned that it's a different pronunciation. Let's see. Beavers and ducks are more than just animals. When Oregonians refer to beavers and ducks, they're likely referring to the football teams. It could be an animal, but it's probably not, unless they're talking about something building a dam or swimming in a pond. Snow seriously freaks Oregonians out. It may be funny to some outsiders, but two inches of snow in Oregon can shut a city down. It's no laughing matter, so stop laughing, please. I, I kind of get, I don't know. I can see like a southern state being like, shutting down for like snow because we're not used to it but something up north shutting down for two inches that seems kind of kind of suspect to me it's even more beautiful than in pictures every time people ask oh is it pretty there oregonians must physically restrain themselves to keep from shouting are you kidding from desert to forested mountains to coast is basically a paradise and this picture does look very nice Uh, there's more to the economy than coffee shops and boutiques. Nike, Hewlett Packard, Oregon State University, and several hospitals are much bigger employers. Interesting. But shopping local is a huge deal. Whenever you're grabbing fresh products at the farmer's market or picking out a new pair of jeans, Oregonians will always push you toward the local option. No one is actually eating owl for dinner. It's just an environmentalist slogan to protest deforestation and protect the spotted owl. An owl that no one else is eating because it's endangered. Soccer. Yes, you read that right. Is a super big deal. Yes, Oregon is in the United States. Yes, people actually know the names of Portland Timbers players and care about the outcome of games. Yes, these two things can be possible at the same time. Interesting. It's okay to giggle at the way couch street is pronounced really you don't have to hold it in oregonians know how funny it sounds too 
All right, so this was a very interesting thing. If you guys are from Oregon, I want you guys to participate in the comment section, kind of refute some of these claims that this website is making or like confirm them. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are having an excellent Sunday. And I hope you guys have a good uh, rest of the week.